Welcome back one and all, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Divinity Original Sin 2. Where we looked at last time, we actually leveled up. Time to do our level up, so we're going to go some constitution because we did other stuff last time. I think we did, uh, well we got wits increased and then we got some strength. So, let's get some more hit points. We are maxed out on two-handed and we are working on warfare, which we are at seven. Getting there anyways. Summoning is maxed out. We are working on Hydro with him, which we will continue to do. And we're going to grab some more intelligence. Yeah, some intelligence. I will grab one finesse. Actually, you know what? We'll grab some hit points and a finesse as well. Ranged is maxed, and she's working on Warfare now for extra damage. He is almost on Warfare, but he's also almost on Geomancer. We're going to do Geomancer this time. One Strength, one Constitution. He's at 4,400 hit points. That's pretty good. And that is our newest level up. Let's talk to the Altar. Actually, we have a conversation to do. Frown with surprise. Alexander vanished along with all the others when the Lady Vengeance breached the Hall of Echoes. You assumed he was dead. I've got questions for him, and he better have answers, or his second death will be even more painful than the first. Perhaps I have misjudged humans. Alexander seems as immortal as I. If he still thinks he's the one that will replace Daddy Dearest, he's in for a surprise. Has as many lives as a cat, it seems. Let's see if he acts like one when cornered. Okay. The altar stands before you, flecked with moss and the cracks of age. An ant crawls across the surface, dipping in and out of the inscription that's engraved on the rock. In honor of Ralik, first of the gods and patron of humanity. I kneel before the altar, whispering a quiet prayer to my god. Perhaps here, in his own temple, I'll be able to talk to him. As your prayer drifts away on the breeze, you feel the world around you shift. You open your eyes to a courtyard with wooden targets and practice posts scattered about. A man stands in the center of the court, his face turned towards the sun, his eyes wide open. He's old, gray hair matted against his skin, but you still recognize him, Ralik. He doesn't look over as you approach. It's only when you're standing right beside him that you see that his eyes are clouded and gray as his hair. He is completely blind. Go, God Woken, he croaks, a faint smile on his face. Go and do your duty. The vision fades, and you stand once more in the shadow-speckled glade of Ralik's temple. Looking down at the altar, you see a faded symbol for the sun carved into the rock. Okay. We got 20,000 experience for doing that. Should we kill these magisters, though, is the question. I don't know. What I do know is, is there's a camp up here somewhere where I'm hoping we'll be able to buy supplies. With any luck, anyways. Or you might get attacked, who knows. A black ring captain stands before you. She looks remarkably ordinary, you think, as far as black ring go. But then you hear a voice inside your head. Tell me who you are, or I will kill you. And do not doubt me, for I tell the truth. I wonder to myself if she can read my mind. I imagine dancing with her drunk in the moonlight. Her expression does not change. She cannot read your mind. But you can read her face. And you see she grows impatient. Tell me who you are, or I will kill you. Make the sign of a lone wolf. The sign is good, so kill the divine pigs and kill the god woke and kill them all, and then perhaps you die and rise again. I keep my peace, nod in acknowledgement, and turn away. I'm sure we're gonna have to kill this encampment, but I kinda wanna see if there's a store here. You serve the god king now, so kill the divine order pigs and kill the. Sorry about that. Uh, you serve the God King now, so kill those Divine Order pigs and kill the God Woken. Go kill them all. Go serve the King. She doesn't have anything in her store though, which is disappointing. Anybody else here have stuff? An undead reaver lifts a clay goblet of wine and drinks deep. Only the wine trickles out through a hole in his side a moment later. He glances at you with a shrug, 
Force of habit. Life will taste good again once the God King's victory is sealed. You seem quite confident of success. I don't need confidence. I have faith. The God King restores the injured, resurrects the fallen. I lay dead and forgotten until he brought me back. He rewards the loyal. Okay, bye. There's lizard dreamers here. I just realized I don't have any of my friends with me. My team is kind of all behind. With the Magisters, the fan was all alone up here. I wonder what Wordless Aura does. Doesn't speak. Apparently we can't speak either. It's a battering ram. The dreamer's eyes have rolled over white. His fingers twitch as you near. A cold presence suddenly seizes you. Your breath shortens, and a voice enters your mind, probing. Red Prince, the prey that my master seeks, God woken. I shoot back an angry thought. He's mistaken, and he better get out of my head if he ever wants to wake up. Oh. The dreamer's twitches give way to violent spasms. He's tearing himself from the dream world. His jaws tighten into a snarl. God woken. Well. This could have gone better. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hey, there was a quartermaster. Hang on, we're gonna reload. Okay, so we know that uh, those things can definitely see us for what we are. So I'll have to be a little more careful when we go towards them. But there's a quartermaster, so I want to see what we can buy from the black circle. Not you. I mean, we literally just fought against the quartermaster, so he's got to be around somewhere. Oh, right there. Every weapon in my stock has spilled blood in honor of the God King. If you can't do the same, then the fault lies with you. Hmm. I mean, it's sort of just okay stuff. That ro nope. That's an intelligence robe with strength. That's just weird. That's a nice belt, though. Those are really nice boots. All right, we might have to buy some things here. What'll it be, Master? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Every weapon in my stock is. What'll it be, Lizard? On your way. How much is this gonna I cost me? Thirty-three hundred plus thirty. So six grand. Hmm. We do have a lot of junk to sell. Or we could just steal it. Possibly. Or we could just take it from his body. Also, maybe. You know what? Let's just take it from his body. We can take Life his whole camp out. I think. They're just black ring idiots. We don't really care about them at all. Wrongs of the seven shall be put right, thanks to the God King. Obey him, honor him, feed him death. What is this? What's oh, the way down? The Shadow Prince is over here, apparently. I'm guessing that's going to be Fane's encounter. Or not Fane, uh, Red Prince's encounter. 
I should say. Let's quick save and uh, yeah, kill some things. The dreamer's eyes have rolled. We heard this. The prey that my angry thought. The cold presence ebbs away. You take a deep breath. The voice offers parting words. Very well. Go in service of the god. Oh, so they don't really care if we can persuade them properly. Do I want to kill this camp? Probably, but maybe not just yet. The death of all. Can I shove her into the lava? The we arise. A black ring priestess turns to you. Her astonishing beauty takes your breath away. Her gaze drifts past you, and you realize that she's blind. She breathes in, as if tasting the air, as if tasting you. How tragic, I think, that she can never see her own beauty. She produces a mirror of darkest black, holds it up as if to look upon her own magnificence, and then speaks as if to herself. I found God woken. She waits a moment, as if listening to her own reflection. It shall be done, O oh, sallow one. She closes the mirror, looks at you directly, almost as if she can see you, and then she smiles. A smile to melt the heart, a smile to drown in, a smile to send an army off to war. Alright, I'm gonna pause here for one sec, I'll be right back. My apologies for that delay, just had to send off some information for that job I'm applying to, some work and stuff. 1v1, eh? I'm okay with a little 1v1. Now I'm out of cool abilities to knock her down with. Where's she going? Well, it looks like Sabeel's in the fray now. Time to put her down. Or not. Another black mirror. We're finding a lot of those. I'm guessing if she had gotten back to the encampment, we would have had a little bit of a problem on our hands. Alright, do we want to do this Life fight? Shall be no, we're going to leave it for Life now. If we have to kill this camp, we will. They're evil people, so it doesn't matter. I want to go check out the Shadow Prince situation. I don't know if it's above our pay grade at the moment, or what's going to be going on with it, but I'm kind of curious as to see if we can finish up Red Prince's story. We had a hard save here, that's a little bit disconcerting. Okay. You suddenly hear something in the distance. A strange but familiar tune. Sabeel freezes. Oh, it's the master. You recognize it as a scar song. The master is near. A moment, years in the making. Soon. I will have my vengeance. She gives you a quick kiss on the cheek. It's a long range kiss. Sing the song when I signal you. And wish me good luck. I think we have to put her in first. That's really unfortunate. Alright. Well. I wonder if Fane can get up there. It's 
the perfect archer spot though. It's also a pretty decent spellcaster spot too. He's in position. This guy's apparently not all that perceptive. Okay. Moment of truth, I guess. step then another Hi. ever closer you can tell from her bearing Sibyl has never been so ready to kill so on the brink of impending action she's like a cat all concentrated muscle that split second before it pounces another step ever closer the moment has finally come she's found the master dot, dot, dot. the eyes of predators meet dot, dot, dot. Sibyl he snaps his fingers, and she involuntarily snaps to attention. Here you go, breaking my heart. That's the plan, Mastermind. My nod. Sibyl will have her vengeance today. He sighs, sadly. I don't begrudge you your freedom, Sibyl. Your escape relieved me of having to witness your death by your own hand. The inevitable last command. I would have watched you, like I have all this time. Glad to see you live, sometimes even laugh. I'm very fond of you, you know? The feeling's not quite mutual. Not yet. Another snap. Different fingers, different sound. She looks to the ground. She's... she's bowing before him. Utter control. The tool of a tyrant, you think? But you're mistaken. Let me indulge you with an explanation. Everything I do, I do for a much greater good. The supreme example of this is you, Sabeel. Why her? Why did he do this to Sabeel? She's the prime scion. It had to be her. The other scions knew and welcomed her. They sought out their own killer. It was all so very elegant. What I did had to be done, Sabeel. And I had to be the orchestrator, for I am the House of Shadows. I am the Fate Weaver. I am the hand that guides a blind world. Sabeel slowly draws her needle. Time to get to the point. My, my, you still have the needle I gave you. How very gratifying. A fine instrument, is it not? Precise, exact. Just like me. Just like you. You should know that I forced you to shed the blood of Scions because rather than a killer, it transformed you into a savior of untold millions. Here's the final truth, Sabeel. The true evil here is not me. It's you. I disagree. The Mother Tree and her Siams do not seek to carve out their own part of peace in this world. They seek to carve out the whole wide world for themselves. They want their roots to conquer every last inch of Rivalon. World domination. The prevalence of one race over all others. That is what they desire. That is what I counteract. I contemplate his words and come to a conclusion. Still a dead man. He died the day he met me. Death, death, death. Did I create a monster after all? I don't begrudge you your freedom, Sabeel. 
But you came looking for me driven by no more than ordinary bloodlust. All you see is red. You've lost sight of all reason. You know how the scar works. You know I have but to sing a single tune. You've no hope whatsoever of defeating your master. He sings. The Scar Song swells. A thousand tiny needles in Sabeel's soul, chipping away at her will. She looks at you with hope and defiance, gives the signal. You must sing the song. I sing the song just like she taught me. Your voice harmonizes with the master's. Stunned, he hesitates, and yours becomes the dominant melody. Sabeel is free from his influence. Dear me, you're a miracle worker. I'll take it from here. The patient cat finally pounces. She strikes, precisely, exactly. Her needle pierces his neck, spears his vocal cords, filling his throat with blood. Checkmated and muted, he staggers back, all a feared fury. This is it. It's time to kill the master. Okay. I will do so. He's got a fair amount. Oh, wait, there's more. There's clearly other enemies in here somewhere. I can see something. I'm not sure what it is, though. Anyways, uh, anger. And haste. There's definitely several enemies around. I just don't know where they are at the moment. There, close by. Jesus, Rupture Tenants hurts. Alright. Get a heal on her. Well, I'd like to get some blood going here, just so that we can get some totems going eventually. And I'll save that AP for next turn. A finesse potion. That's annoying. Perfect, she can get all the way up here. And nearly died. Why? Rupture tendons, right? Oh well, she'll heal next turn. She can't attack because of atrophy. Look, she made a nice pile of blood to get some arrows going. Next turn we'll deal with her. Red Prince took a bit of damage there. Let's start laying waste to this guy. I want to get his armor down so we can knock him down. up first for anybody else so if Fan can do that let's just get some buffs going I guess there's a sniper somewhere oh nobody moves next turn for a bit there's an alchemist somewhere as well Oh. Where did he go? Anyways. Ability. Oh, silly. Helmet. You know what? The elemental toes come up here. There's a lot of blood up here. We'll ride the sniper later. I want that guy dead.
still atrophied, really? How long does that last for? Or not atrophied, um... Yeah, atrophied. Does she have any healing potions, I wonder? Of course not. Well... I mean, you give a source point, why not? Let's not waste any more of our turns. dead. And I think we're gonna use our adrenaline. Can I hit this guy? Yes. So we're also gonna use less sacrifice for damage. <laughs> that was amazing. guys are falling pretty quick. Where's that alchemist though, I wonder? I thought he was up here somewhere, but now I don't see him anywhere. Ow. He is up here. He's just invisible or something. Sorry. I know he's up here somewhere. His permanent invisibility is kind of irritating. Didn't help. I was hoping that would work. I just cannot get into range of that guy. Alright, moving up. <laughs> Stupid alchemist is dead. There is an assassin on the way up. you down. Okay, an elemental tool. Yeah, uh, he's got lots of armor actually. And by that I mean he's got lots of magic armor. Or at least some. She 
blind? She is blind. Is she decaying? Get his armor down. We're not gonna be able to knock him down, are we? Nope, not unless we crit, which we're not gonna be able to, so next turn. How did you miss a prone target? Visible, you jerk. All right. Fine. We'll deal with this another way. Just wait for him to appear. There he is. Vanishing. I don't know if that's part of their fight because they're like shadow people or whatever, but it's kind of irritating. It's still seeable for now. No, he's gone again. Why? This is so annoying. We could have been done this fight like four times by now. Where are you, damn it? Just die, please die. Thank you. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> that permanent invisibility, though. It wasn't a hard fight, it was like once we reached a certain point of the fight, it wasn't hard anymore, just annoying because you couldn't hit them properly. We hit him a couple times and they vanished for a while. We should probably talk to Sibyl, I'm sure she has something to say about this whole situation. Or perhaps not. Alright. That's gonna be the end of our video, I think. We're a little bit short actually, but that's okay. We I gotta get ready to go. It is Christmas break time. I gotta pack and get everything ready. Oh, consequently, small announcement. There won't be any videos between December twenty third to tomorrow and December twenty sixth. The twenty seventh we should be back in full force. I have like that whole week off until the second of January, so I should be able to get like tons of videos done during that time. But for the foreseeable future. 
the next like four days or so. There won't be any videos. Enjoy your Christmas, guys. That's what I want for you. I know it's sad, no videos, but you know what? Spend time with family, or if you hate your family, spend time with friends. Or if you hate your friends, then spend time playing awesome video games or having fun. See you all in the new year. Well, not the new year. Before the new year, for sure. And we'll get a bunch more done. I want to try and finish Divinity by the end of the year. And then I'm going to try desperately to get Dragon Age working again somehow. And if I can get that done, then I will hopefully, fingers crossed, be able to finish up Final Fantasy VI. And then in the new year sometime, Pillars of Eternity will be coming out and we'll be playing that. So like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, have a good holiday, everyone. Take care.